Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Web Predications Daily Tech Tips, Quarantine Edition. In today's tech tip, you're learning how to sign documents from home. Signing a document from home basically means you're using a digital signature to sign these documents. So you don't have to move from one place to another just to sign a document. Anyway, this mainly involves two steps. Step one is creating the digital signature and step two is the actual signing of the documents. And for this tutorial, we're going to use Microsoft Word, a smartphone or a scanner if you have one, a marker pen and a white piece of paper. So step one, use your marker to put a signature on that white piece of paper and make sure it's a sizable signature and make sure you press that marker properly on that piece of paper so that you get a bold signature. Step two, scan your signature. If you have a scanner, that's fine, but you could use your smartphone just to take a picture of that signature. And when you take that picture, make sure your phone is parallel to that piece of paper and you're in a well-lit environment so that there are no shadows on the photo. And then you'll need to crop out the image to get rid of the unnecessary parts so that you're only left with the signature part of your image. Step three, transfer the image to your computer using either Dropbox or Google Drive or Gmail or even a USB cable. Pro tip, Avoid using WhatsApp because their compression is literally from hell. Step four, open a new document in Microsoft Word. And for this part, we could have easily used Photoshop or other image editing software, but chances are there are more people with Microsoft Word than there are with Photoshop. Anyway, if you need the Photoshop tutorial, let me know down in the comment section below and subscribe and hit the bell icon not to miss it. In Microsoft Word, let me just maximize that so that it's visible to everyone. What you need to do is import that image with a signature. So all you need to do is click on insert in the menu and then go to pictures and then click on device or this device and then select where you've saved that image in your computer. Mine is in this folder called digital signature. Click on it and then click insert and the image is going to be inserted into Microsoft Word. Now, as you can see, my white piece of paper was not really as white as Microsoft Word. And so we can't use this as a signature just the way it is. We have to get rid of the background so that you're only left with the digital signature itself. So if you're signing a white document, it's going to be the signature on a white background. If it's orange, then you need your signature to have the orange background. And to do that, you have to get rid of this background. So how do you get rid of the background? So click on the image and make sure format is selected. And then you want to click on remove background in the upper left corner. And that should select your background automatically. So you want to expand this to make sure the whole signature is covered. And as you can see, this part of the signature has been left out. So you want to make sure it's included in the signature so that it's not considered a background. So to do that, click on mark areas to keep. So you want to click on that. And then you want to go and maybe select the areas of the signature that you think are being left out. Click on that, click on that. And as you can see, it's been selected. But the problem is this section inside the letter A has also been selected. So you want to click on mark areas to remove. And then you want to go and carefully mark that area and that like that, like that. And then look for any other areas that you think should be left out like this particular area right here and that area that area as well and then when you're happy with your signature click on keep changes and as you can see the background has been eliminated at least most of it there's still a section here that needs to be redone so I'm gonna go ahead and click on remove background again and then I'm gonna add mark areas to remove and I'll add that area and I'll add that and that and that then I'll click again on keep changes and as you can see most of it has been removed if I want to refine this even more I can do that with the background removed it does not matter what color of paper you're signing or putting your signature on if the paper is blue you're going to have a blue background if the paper is orange you'll have an orange background and whatever other color you're gonna have so that's our signature now since you've already created our signature all you need to do is save this signature in the png format the png format is important because it will maintain that transparent background so right click on the image and then go to save as picture 
and then make sure the server type is png or portable network graphics image format and then give your signature a name choose why you want to save it and then click on save so now to sign a document in microsoft word all you need to do is open that document and then go to the section that you need to sign click on it and then click on insert and then you want to insert that image with your signature so click on this device and then select your signature click on insert and then you want to reposition it to fit your piece of paper just like that make sure you reposition it until you're happy with the signature there you go so now you can save your document and send it to wherever it's required and remember why we created the png image format is in case this document was another color like uh, orange our signature will still be having an orange background and it will look authentic like you just signed it so that's basically how to create a digital signature and sign documents using that digital signature basically signing documents from home or from wherever you are thanks for watching you can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below the video don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one my name is chris and i'll talk to you guys soon since you're signing documents and working from home then it means you have more time to binge watch content from netflix youtube amazon prime hulu showbox everything even content that's not available to you based on your geographical location but with a proper vpn like express vpn you can expand your reach and watch content from all over the world by simply telling your vpn where you want to watch from express vpn is available on any platform you could think of from pc to mac smartphone roku android box your fire stick anywhere even your router and if you sign up today using the link pinned in the comment section you'll get 30 days free so make sure you take advantage of that.